in the Oscar battle of Barbenheimer. Let's be honest, the big winner was Ken. <laughs> Welcome to Entertainment Tonight. Yeah, and if this was Hollywood Super Bowl, Ryan Gosling was the hot pink halftime show. And we got behind the scenes secrets straight from his fellow Kens. What was it like up there performing this song with your Kens? Pretty surreal. Right. I blacked out. What was it like on that stage tonight? Oh, my God, it was so much fun. It was so much fun. I just heard Kens doing something, so I thought, well, I need to bring some Kennedy support. What were rehearsals like? Rehearsals were quick, intense. Yeah. We all came in last yeah. minute. Those 65 cowboy kins helped Ryan steal the show, including Chris Evans' little brother, Scott. What's it like getting all the kins back together? It's just like too good. You know, we got our text thread. We, we keep in touch. How about that Ken performance? Oh, so, <laughs> so good, right? And you could say this was Ryan's Marilyn moment. Tiffany's. Yep, if the electrifying performance felt kind of familiar, well, it was. I'm just kidding. From his hot pink custom Gucci suit to the handsome dancers in identical tuxes, the three minute and 23 second routine was a sly tribute to Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend, which also inspired Madonna's Material Girl. And there's a Taylor Swift connection. Are you ready for it? We're told that Mandy Moore, who choreographed Taylor's The Eras Tour and worked on La La Land, was thrilled to reunite with Ryan to help him bring the Kinergy. You know, people think Ryan Gosling now, they do think this quintessential actor, but we remember him from the Mickey Mouse Club. The man can sing. Can really the sing. man can really sing. Yay, baby! He can really dance, too. And he, like, kind of wrote the whole script of this performance. I'm just kidding. Another highlight, Ryan was joined by Slash and Eddie Van Halen's son, Wolfgang. Mark sent me a couple ideas, and then uh, I spent the whole day at a studio and just tracked all day. It was a really, really fun time. And when you watch the movie, here I'm going to brag, when you watch the movie during the pen fight scene, that's all Wolfie the little, 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 so I'm just saying. But the best original song winner? Billie Eilish and Kitty. <laughs> Billie, congratulations. How does it feel? It feels so good. I'm back. As for that Barbenheimer rivalry, well, Ryan and Emily Blunt traded insults. They didn't call it Op and Barbie. Why? Well, I think you guys are at the tail end of that because you were riding Barbie's coattails all summer. Thanks for Ken explaining that to me. Mr. I need to paint my abs on to get nominated. You don't see Robert Downey doing that. You're kidding. Robert You're Downey. kidding. But back on the carpet, Ryan posed with his repeat Oscar date, Sister Mandy. Yes. So there's Ken. Oh, that's exciting. Should I back out of the shot? No. So where was Ryan's wife, Ava Mendez? Backstage. She captioned this casual video, always by my man, and later wrote, now come home, we need to put the kids to bed. Ryan lost to Oppenheimer's Robert Downey Jr., who thanked his plus one. Susan Downey over there. You love me back to life. That's why I'm here. This is incredible. Ah! RDJ's Avengers wife, Gwyneth Paltrow, was also cheering him on while getting her hair highlighted. And if you thought this raised eyebrows. This is the highest point of Robert Downey Jr.'s long and illustrious career. Well, one of the highest points. Um, but <laughs> was that too on the nose or is that a drug motion you made? <laughs> Yeah, no one was prepared for a new presenter. Did you cross paths with John Cena backstage at all while he was naked? No, but I was looking. Oh, I was looking from the seats. Okay. I was like, I was like, let me get a peek. What was behind the envelope? Let's call it a privacy pouch in front and back. How'd they pull off this 22 second costume change? Watch as three women and Kimmel help wrap the wrestler in pink satin. Speaking of WWE vet showing skin, this presenter seemed kind of turned. Should I have opened my shirt up? No, what? I don't want to see that. Are you sure now? You, you don't know what that is. <laughs> Dolce & Gabbana. I was supposed to say a whole bunch of things in Italian. I drank too much tequila, so I forgot completely. <laughs> Go get a drink in. You have a lot of nerve to show your face. Oh, yeah, you here. Got, you know. We also love these epic movie reunions from the twin stars threatening Batman to Beetlejuice. You're welcome in our house anytime you want to come over. Uh, if I had a nickel. Oh, God, I could go on and on. <laughs> what was it like reuniting with Catherine? Oh, man. I didn't have to reunite. She's my pal, so right. I see her all the time. 
But why was Michelle Pfeiffer absent from her expected Scarface reunion with Al Pacino? ETs learned a matter came up early last week that kept her on the East Coast and unable to attend. Yes. As for Oscar vets returning to present, it had some first-time winners seizing their moments. RDJ got a selfie with his category presenters, and then there was this Davine moment. Davine. You saw me. There's nothing that's never too little. It's always just enough. Killian Murphy had a full circle moment with director Chris Nolan. You know, I did a screen test for him when I was a kid, and I thought that would be it. And was so. Save your voice. Winner Emma Stone scrambled backstage when she realized she missed out as Poor Things won for production design. After, after breaking her dress, Emma got sewn back up, hugged her fellow Best Actress nominees, embraced Spider-Man co-star Sally Field, and had an after-party smooch with hubby Dave McCary. And yeah, we caught her using Bestie Taylor Swift's song for this sweet shout-out. And most importantly, my daughter, I love you bigger than the whole sky, my girl. You are bigger than the whole sky. More sweet moments, Bradley Cooper hugging mom Gloria, who was his Oscar plus one. Why not bring girlfriend of nearly five months Gigi Hadid? A source told E.T. Gigi, who just chopped off all her hair, was at home with her daughter. Bradley brings his mother to every award show, right? How many times can one bring his mom as his date before he is actually dating his mom? <laughs> I was just like marveling at how new everything was. Lupita Nyong'o didn't bring her man of three months, Joshua Jackson. Her date last night, A Quiet Place Day One co-star Joseph Quinn. Later, they hit the Vanity Fair party together. Joshua's ex, Jody Turner-Smith, was there too, but they weren't seen near each other. Emily, watch it, thank you. Yes, from John Krasinski and Emily Blunt to Chris Hemsworth and Elsa Pataki, it was date night for many of Hollywood's favorite couples. Come on, husband. He's mine, y'all. Vanessa Hudgens broke baby news, debuting her bump on the red carpet. She married baseball player Cole Tucker in December. I clearly have a lot to be excited for. <laughs> Even more couples were coming in hot at the Vanity Fair Oscar party. Our Denny Directo was there. Matt Damon with wife Lucy had the perfect reaction after frenemy Jimmy Kimmel dogged him at the end of the show. Matt, how did Jimmy do tonight? Always terrible. <laughs> Chris Evans made his red carpet debut with his new wife, Alba Bautista. Saltburn's Barry Keoghan and Sabrina Carpenter spaced out their red carpet arrival before posing together inside. Kim, ready to party? Ready to party? Kim Kardashian arrived before her rumored new man, Odell Beckham Jr. Inside the party, Steven Spielberg directed this close-up shot of his burger, while Flavor Flav gifted this Oscar winner one of his signature clocks. Hi, I love you guys. Hi. We love you. Hi, I love you guys. When's the last time you were at the Vanity Fair party? I think it was like 10 years ago. Uh, try 18. It was all the way back in 2006, which is the same year this iconic photo was taken with Britney Spears and Lindsay's fellow new mom, Paris Hilton. When's the last time you guys went out together? Oh my God, so many years. Really? Yes, but we've been talking of just about all the mom things. It's gonna be fun. My sister's about to pull up right now. That just added to the nostalgia of it all since earlier this weekend, Nikki had a girls' night out with Britney. Meanwhile, Glenn Powell was throwing it back, revealing he collected Beanie Babies back in the day. I actually went to uh, Beijing, China, and I bought all the uh, Beanie Babies you couldn't get in the United States, and I would sell them off to kids. Glenn's anyone but you leading lady Sydney Sweeney reunited with her White Lotus season one co-star Jennifer Coolidge. And season two's breakout star Megan Fahey hit the carpet without her co-star turned real life boyfriend Leo Woodall. Everyone's like loving your love. I love love. You know what else we love? Eva Longoria spilling the deeds about her new gig, Only Murders in the Building season four. I had to pinch myself because we were just on set and it's like Steve Martin, Martin Short, Meryl Streep, Molly Shannon, Eugene Levy, Zach Galifianakis, me, Selena Gomez, like, and I'm like, where am I? <laughs> and did you catch Bradley Cooper's surprise appearance on Abbott Elementary? Hi, I'm Bradley Cooper. What? You, you are Bradley Cooper. I found out a little secret. Our editing department is amazing yeah. because I was nowhere near that scene when they shot it. And the way they put it all together, no one could have told me that I was not there with them with Bradley Cooper. 
We got more TV news across town at the 32nd Annual Elton John AIDS Foundation Academy Awards Viewing Party. Our Cassie Delora was at the event hosted by Elton, husband David Furnish, Neil Patrick Harris, David Burtka, and Tiffany Haddish, which raised a record-breaking $10.8 million. Your directorial debut, and you get to direct this lovely lady right here, your mom. He was the big boss. Very proud of my baby. There's a scene, your, it's a pretty steamy scene with your mom. I never meant to hurt anyone. How was that on set? It was the last thing on our mind. But so, it is a good yeah, scene. It's a great it's scene. It's a good scene. And watch to see more.